Hi, I'm Joe Wachowski. In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to strip the insulation back on a piece of stranded wire so you can install it on an outlet. That's coming up next. All right, so in your home, um, basically what you're going to find for wiring is uh, solid uh, wire. Uh, the other kind is stranded wire. You may find that, but most probably uh, you're going to find solid wire in your home. It's cheaper, um, so that's basically why it's in your home. Um, but you may find stranded wire in your home, and um, stripping the end of the wire so it doesn't uh, fray on you or stick out of the the screw on the outlet um, stripping it's going to be a little bit different i'm going to show you how to do that right now okay like i said in the beginning um, most common wire you're going to have in your home is a solid piece of copper wire okay and basically you just strip the end make a loop on the end Okay, and install it, tighten your screw, and that's installed. Okay, the other type that may be in your home. is a strand of wire okay many strands inside the wire to form one wire okay now when you strip those and you uh, twist it together you're gonna want to make a loop as well however if you try this you're gonna find that doesn't work as well all right I'll take this one off Okay, and when you put this on your screw, on your device, you're going to find that it wants to flatten out, fray, some of the, some of the strands are going to stick out, and not all the time, but most of the time, and it could be a messy installation. All right, so the best way to strip stranded wire see now it's all flattened out the best way to do stranded wire instead of stripping it at the end and pulling it all the way off we're going to go a little farther down and we're only going to pull it back part of the way okay and we're going to leave this end on that's going to protect um the end from fraying okay and make it much easier to install loop it around your screw hold it together while you tighten it underneath there all right you see it's much neater you don't have anything you can't feel any pieces sticking out the end is not going to be frayed you got them both together inside between the two tabs there it's a much better neater installation and that's how uh, that's why I do stranded wire. So if you find stranded wire, that's the way I would do it. Thanks for watching. 
like to see more videos like this one, visit my website at www.doityourselfwithjoe.com where you'll find an archive of all my videos. Also, click the subscribe button to keep up to date with future videos. And don't forget to click the thumbs up and leave a comment below to let me know what you think or if there's something I can help you with.